Hello friends, how are you all? My name is Harshit Devedi and I welcome you back to my video. So in this video friends, we are going to see some important facts about the oceanic trenches. Oceanic trenches are actually formed at that point friends, where two oceanic plates converge into each other and the heavier oceanic plate, the denser oceanic plate will subduct below the comparatively lighter oceanic plate and there the trenches would be formed and lot of other phenomena like mountain ranges would be formed, oceanic arcs would be formed after some amount of distance friends. So all of these things with respect to oceanic trenches I will be discussing in this video. After this video, I will also make a video on you know the imported oceanic trenches of the world. So kindly both of those videos friends, the link of the second video I will give in the description box below. So I am Harshit Devi friends, this video is bought by me if you want to follow me. The link of my Instagram profile is given in the description box below. This video is in English. If you want to watch the Hindi version of the video, the link of that is also given in the description box below. So basically these oceanic trenches are steep depressions. Now what does the steep depression means? There are two things friends, gradual depressions, steep depressions. Now when the depression is something like this, see. So gradually the slope is going downwards. So this is basically gradual depression. And when something is going like this and suddenly this thing comes. So suddenly there is a depression. So this becomes steep depression. So these oceanic trenches are very, very steep depressions. They are something like this. You can see they are something like this. Okay. A V-shaped valley are found at these depressions. Okay. And here mountain ranges are formed. And here oceanic warp, you know, ocean. Um, you can say oceanic arcs are formed here at some amount of distance from these mountains. So this is what is happening at these trenches friends. So the old oceanic crust from one tectonic plate is pushed beneath another tectonic plate which rises mountains, causes earthquakes and also forms volcanoes on the sea floor. So there are two types of volcanoes. One volcanoes come out at the land surface and there are some volcanoes who come out at the ocean surface also the Difference is uh, the, the mechanism behind bringing volcanoes is the same that I have already discussed in the plate tectonics video. So if you have not watched the plate tectonics video, I will suggest you to watch the plate tectonics video plus the continental drift video plus the sea floor spreading video, which I have already uploaded on my channel. Now, normally the depths below which these trenches are formed, it is known as the Hadal zone, which lies, you know, more than 6000 meter deep beneath the ocean surface and it is named after Hades, who is the Greek god of the underworld. Okay, and this Hadal zone account for the deepest 45% of the global ocean and there are trenches are formed. This is one figure of an oceanic trench named Puerto Rico trench. So this is the Puerto Rico trench. Okay, what is happening Two oceanic plates are subducting the two portnic plates are converging with each other this North American plate and this Caribbean plate and you can see because of this subduction this trench is formed where the oceanic crust is getting destroyed. Similarly, the mountain ranges are formed here and after some amount of time, you are going to see some volcanic arcs, volcanic, uh, you know, um, a chain of volcanoes will be formed at the ocean surface because of this subduction. Friends. So, parallel to the oceanic trenches, you are going to find what? You are going to find the mountain ranges. You are also going to find the volcanic arcs, friends. Okay. Now, what is Hadal Zone? So, Hadal Zone is basically named after the Greek god Hades. It is also known as Hadopelagic Zone and it is the deepest region of the ocean. Okay. And it lies within the oceanic trenches. So, the Hadal Zone is found at the depth of 6,000 to 11,000 meters, which is 20,000 to 36,000 feet in the bottom of the oceans. And they exist in long but narrow topographic V-shaped decisions. And this long but narrow topographic V-shaped depressions are nothing but oceanic trenches. I have already told you oceanic trenches are something like this. See. Okay. So this is highly depth. The width is very less. Okay. So this is and but they are very long. See in this figure. This thing will make clear to you. See here. Now here you can see friends this oceanic trench is very very long. It is so long but the width of this oceanic trench is very less and this is in the form of this this is a v-shaped uh, oceanic trench this is the depth so you can see this uh, you know this depth is this this much depth is there it is very very deep it is it varies from 6000 meters to 11000 meters deep okay friends and the width is less you can see this width is less but they are very long see the length the length of the trench is very long okay so these are the important facts about these trenches they are long they have a narrow width okay and they are very very deep now moving forward 
the deepest parts of the trench because when you go into the you know complete depth of the trench so there the area is very less it only forms about one percent of the total area of the trench friends there are some steep submarine slopes steep walls and they are called as the hadal zone and uh, you will normally assume that in this hadal zone in the deepest part of the trenches you know in the trenches there will be no life but you will be astonished to know that there are unique habitats at different depths that is at different depths of the trenches there are different habitats which have developed and there are many species thriving there which are still unknown to the study of science science is still trying to get to those ranges okay and a lot of things are being done a lot of high you know highly technologized equipments are being made so that they can go there and study that areas so efforts in this direction are on and yes species exist there and science wants to know that how these species are existing in such such harsh environments okay this paragraph i will explain you let us move to the next slide so basically these trenches are ge dynamic geological features obviously they are because two tectonic plates two oceanic tectonic plates are converging and subducting beneath one another so a sizable amount of seismic activities is there and many a times large earthquake comes some of the largest recorded earthquakes have been formed at the subduction of these oceanic uh, plates and obviously these earthquakes will come to the coast in the form of tsunamis because any earthquake beneath the oceanic you know beneath the ocean is going to cause tsunami and that tsunami is called going to cause the destruction at the land surface how tsunamis come on that i made a separate video kindly go and watch that video okay now what happens when the subjection of oceanic crust beneath oceanic crust happens of uh, upwelling of molten crust take place many of this the inside molten lava will break apart the oceanic crust and come out in the form of volcanoes okay so it will form a volcanic arc mountain ranges will be formed and obviously parallel to the trench mountain ranges will be formed and after some amount of time after some amount of distance volcanic arcs would formed and these volcanic arcs you can see in the form of japanese archipelago aleutian islands and there are many such type of things in the pacific rings of fire also so you can see here friends that the volcanoes here will be of two types one type of volcano will be formed at the base of the oceanic floor on the oceanic floor the volcanoes will come and one type of volcano will come at the land you can see that in the case of pacific rings of fire those volcanoes who are coming on the land they are coming because of the subduction of the oceanic plate below the continental plate and those volcanoes which are going to come on the surface of the ocean on the ocean basin they will be due to the subduction plate subduction of oceanic plate beneath the oceanic plate but volcanoes comes both on the oceanic floor and on the land okay they come at both the places okay now the point is friends see in the inside the oceanic trenches the pressure of water is huge it is 1000 times the normal pressure the temperatures are above freezing there is no light absolutely no light so the conditions are so harsh in these oceanic trenches despite of that the life is thriving in these oceanic trenches so if the habitat is present despite such extreme and rough conditions there and you will see that in these habitats extraordinary high abundance of fully few highly specialized organism is there that is few specialized organisms are found in high quantity in these areas so how are these organisms surviving in this unique environment scientists are very much interested to know this because by knowing this many technological advances can be made many biological advances can be made biomedical advances can be made because by studying the internal mechanism and phenomena of these deep sea organisms a lot of medical advances can be made friends okay now these hadal species which are living inside the uh, these trenches they are surviving on a variety of things for example many of them are harnessing the energy of chemicals that are coming out of hydrocarbon seeps and mud volcanoes okay and these organisms their proteins their biomolecules their orientation is such that they are able to withstand the crushing hydrostatic pressure the crushing pressure of water so how are they managing to you know hold this pressure how are they managing to survive on this chemicals from hydrocarbon seas from mud volcanoes how you know some of them are also surviving on the organic material who are coming from the oceanic surface to the bottom of the trenches so some are surviving on them also so because these organisms are surviving on these things scientists want to know that what their internal mechanism is and on the basis of the mechanism there some sort of study will be going on biomedical advances can be made diabetes can be solved anti cancer drugs can be made you know the problem of super bugs is going out of proportion nowadays antimicrobial resistance 
is increasing so the present day antibiotics which are in use they are slowly slowly becoming ineffective so if we are going to study these deep sea organisms their mechanism so by using their internal mechanism we can devise those drugs which are highly effective against the present superbugs so this can also help us friends similarly these organisms will help us to study that how ocean life originated so this is one more role that this can play friends also it is being said that very large amount of carbon com content has accumulated in these trenches and many a times it happens that this carbon content is being consumed either by the bacteria in the ocean trenches or because of the subduction this carbon goes back into the mantle so if this is happening there then you can say that these oceanic trenches are helping a lot to sequester the carbon from the environment because if they are being getting consumed by the trench bacteria or even if they are getting subducted inside the mantle carbon is going away from the environment which is very very important friends so a lot of study is going on to see that what is the overall effect of this geological activity on the carbon cycle on the earth because we see but when subduction occurs volcanoes comes out so a lot of carbon comes out through that volcanoes okay and when at the oceanic trenches the crust is getting deposited beneath the mantle a lot of carbon is also going back in the mantle so what is the exact amount of source of carbon from this geological activity this is also being studied by the scientists and geologists on the basis of it we will be able to decipher that what is the effect of these processes on global climate change and greenhouse gases so all of these things we are going to study and in the next video i am going to tell the important trenches and their geological orientation all over the world the most important 10 trenches i will be discussing it is almost impossible to you know discuss all the trenches but important ones i will be discussing in detail and i will be telling you the location of those trenches so i hope this video was helpful for you if it was helpful kindly tell me through your comment section below please like this video subscribe to my channel and share this video with more and more of your friends so thank you friends have a great day goodbye take care keep studying have a good health